Hi, my name's Mark Allen Lovewell. I'm a folk singer from the island of Martha's Vineyard. I'm standing here on the shore of Katama Bay. Um, I don't know when you're gonna be seeing this video, but so let me put a date on it. Um, yesterday, October 1st, a very special event happened out here and I saw it. Dolphins, or, or porpoises, I'm not sure which, a pot of them, close to 10 of them, maybe, maybe more, swam in the waters of Katama Bay looking for Manhattan. And uh, it was a big deal. They, so many people saw them. I saw them, I photographed them. I'll sneak a photograph of them in, into this video. They were, they were here. They were here swimming, feeding on Manhattan. The ramifications of this is, is really wonderful. You know, Katama Bay, if you go look it up, it's, 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 a, it's, an, it's an inner pond, coastal pond, um, on Martha's Vineyard. Martha's Vineyard is off the coast of Massachusetts. It's on the edge of Georgia's Bank, one of the most productive fishing grounds in the world, or it once was. And the thought that dolphins would come into these waters is huge. Now it's not, um, not I mean, I have memories of, I even have a memory of a, a baby whale, humpback whale, swimming in these waters. Um, and I photographed porpoises, dolphins, years and years ago. But what's so huge about this is it's been a, lo it's been a while, a long time, I, too long a time. And there are environmental issues that are contributing to the reason why this, this happened, I believe. I, I believe this. Um, you know, um, we're all concerned about the ocean and, and how many fish are out here. A lot of chit chat and talk and me and yelling between people about what's what's a sustainable number of, of different species of fish in these ocean. I personally can say that I don't think there's enough out there. I don't think there's enough fish out there. I don't think there marine mammals out there. I don't think there's enough bait fish out there. And I think we're learning that. And the scientists have been saying that. And the fisheries managers have been talking about it. And, and, and those who are in charge of catch limits and, and, and restrictive measures to prevent overfishing, they're, on the, they're at the table and they're talking about it. And I, I, appearance, the return of Manhattan to these waters, they were, Manhattan were severely overfished in these waters over the last 20 years. I know this, and you know this, and many people know this, and they're coming back. Um, maybe they're not coming back as much as we'd like. We certainly could have some more of them. But the ramifications of overfishing is so detrimental to the environment, and you know, you watch somebody talking, talking about the issues, and and they and they talk about fish, but it's really about the environment. It's really about us. It's about our community. It's about where we live. It's about going down to the shoreline and and looking out on the water like I'm doing right now and saying, you know, there's stuff out there. There's fish out there, and they're having a good time. We want them to have a good time. The only reason why those dolphins, I'll call them dolphins, the only reason why that pod came here yesterday was because there was food. It's not that they're out there all about. They came here because there's food. And that's huge. That's essential. It's essential to the whole ecosystem is that things are out there eating, having a meal. I feel that very, very strongly about it. The whole conversation that people talk about, oh my gosh, there's, there's this. I mean, the story about sharks, the story about porpoises, the story about marine mammals, the story of 
about whales, the story about the fish you like to eat. It's all related. They're all related together. And uh, yesterday was a big deal. Yesterday was a big deal. Yesterday, October 1st, 2021, dolphins came swimming in Katama Bay. I took some pictures. I saw them. I watched people get excited about it. It was such a treat to have that happen here. And, and my hope is in the years ahead, there's more of these kind of stories. There's the more frequent stories, more frequent sightings. Because this was once the richest, the most fertile, most productive fishing ground in the world. European fishermen would come in their sailboats and fish the waters out here to take fish back to Europe. George's Bank was the most, most productive. The only reason why the pilgrims came here was because they knew there was food here. So it's a very, 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 very essential and important, exciting event that happened yesterday. And uh, I want to share that with you. I, I think you, I, I'm, you know, I'm a folk singer. I sing songs. I can't, I can't change the world around me. I, you know, I can sing a song about it. I can do things about it. That's all I can do. But the real story is about you, you, my friends. Ooh, what do you think about it? How do you feel about it? And. Um, Feel good about it. I, I think that's the most important key ingredient out of this. Feel good about it and share that love, share that positive experience with the friends you know. And um, maybe we can make a difference, you know? Maybe, maybe something will happen as a result of your involvement, resolve your storytelling, my storytelling. And um, we, can, we can bring health back to these waters. I mean it, you know. If you, I think one of the, I'm, I'm going to hold this thing up and share it with you a little more. I want to put this up in the air and see, give you a tour of this. If you look out there, you'll see some barges some, where, they're, where they're raising oysters. We love oysters. Katama Bay was once so, 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 so productive. I mean, it still is, but it's nothing compared to what it was. I have childhood memories, shellfishermen out, cohoggers. I have wonderful memories. So it's really assuring to me, and I hope to you as well, that we all can make a difference by caring, just caring, caring, and maybe sharing a story or two with a friend. Thanks for joining with me.